All right, ladies, I am back. And this is video number six. And I think we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna do a little recap here, what we've been doing. Went into the stores and looked at some, some, some products in the middle of the store that you can, you can have. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of shopping in the middle of the store. And I also wanna to talk to you about four other foods that a lot of us eat and I get questions on all the time. Can I eat that? Well, on the program, you're going to see that they're not listed. And I told you that whatever you, whatever's on those food lists is basically what you can have. There's four foods, rice, pasta, potatoes, corn. These four foods will disrupt your program a lot. You will delay your weight loss three days, at least. So we really want to stay away from these four. Corn is not a bad, organic corn is great for you. Some great organic rice. The world eats rice. Fantastic. A lot of different rices out there. Pasta and potatoes, a lot of different types of pastas. You can either, there's, there's a lot of different pastas, but right now we're not going to even mess around with those. And potatoes, cooked potatoes, that's almost like junk food. I mean, b believe it or not, potatoes are actually great for you, but you got to eat them raw. And, I'm, and people really don't eat, realize that potatoes are very, very high in vitamin C. But anyway, we're going to stay away from those, okay, everyone? Now, let's look at some sample menus. Sample menus. And before we get into these sample menus, after the 30 days are over, after the 30 days are over, everyone's going to stop the program. Once you take a deep breath. And then I want you to go out and have an orange, an apple, some nuts, have some beans, some lentils, have something else that you haven't had in a long time. I have a client that she uses during the summer, watermelon, that takes the cravings off her and she uses that almost on a weekly basis, and it works for her. It works for her. So when she gets these cravings to watermelon, which is which actually watermelon is actually pretty, one of the fruits that's low in sugar. I'm not going to get too much involved with that right now, but that's what she does after she's tired and she, she wants to have something else, something sweet. She'll use watermelon or cantaloupe also. Also, so after 30 days, again, you're going to stop. I want you to assess how you feel, how you look. People are going to be telling you, you look good. You look fantastic. And just kind of see where you're at. Some people don't stop. They just keep going. They say, I'm on a roll. I don't want to be dealing. I'm not stopping because I'll go back. I'll go to a fast food place. I'm not doing it. So they don't stop, but I got to tell you to stop because we want to take this in stages. So my research over the years says people do better when they can take a break and when they're trying to change. You don't have to again, but it works to have that option. Next thing. If you are on medications and you are a diabetic or you're on insulin, anything dealing with diabetes, you have to talk to your doctor about what you're doing. A lot of doctors don't understand what you're doing. 
But the doc, I've had people say, the doctor says, whatever you're doing, do it. But you've got to let them know what you're doing. Because if you're on a micronase or something like that, which actually lowers your blood sugar, and you're not eating any sugar, that could be a problem. So check with your doctor, always. Especially with diabetes. Anything else, you're fine. But diabetes can be a problem. And we know we have a diabetes problem with black women. And it is all caused by the preservatives and additives and poisons in our foods. And maybe we'll do a whole segment on diabetes. Diabetes is caused by food drama. That's what it's caused. So if you want to get rid of your diabetes, you stop eating processed man-made foods that the white supremacists are producing to harm you. That's just the way it is. All right, let's look at some more sample menus. And you're getting all these all these sample menus on the program, by the way. I'm look I'm actually looking at the program. And look at this one here. It says breakfast. So we're gonna this breakfast, we're gonna have four chicken sausage links. There are better there are better chicken sausages, and we will look at those as we go along. Two eggs. And two glasses of water. So obviously in this, they're not having any type of, most people are not going to eat leafy vegetables. Some people will have tomatoes uh, with their with their breakfast, but most people are going to eat this. I got these from people. And they're going to have black coffee. This person obviously doesn't need cream in the coffee. And again, we're going to talk about those eggs. Lunch, large Caesar salad. Looks like they're out to eat on this one. Large Caesar salad with chicken in it. Caesar dressing, which you can have. You can have Caesar. And croutons. So when you go out, I have a Caesar dressing um, recipe. But notice it says no crouton. So this person, I think, was out. So I, I tell people to use Caesar dressing. In the program, also, we, we talk about restaurants. We're not going to go over eating in restaurants. And then, obviously, they had water. Dinner, it looks like they were out again. Well, my wife can make this. They had chicken fajitas with onions and peppers. And when you go out, usually, if you go to a Mexican place, they'll give you the little tortillas to put the fajitas in and that person will say, I don't want any, please don't give me the, the little tortillas. I'm just going to have chicken fajitas with onions and peppers. And then they're going to have a romaine salad with tomatoes. So you can have that. That's good. That's good. That is a great day. That day right there, you're on your way. Next one. This person had four strips of turkey bacon. There is, we got, we're going to talk about that turkey bacon. There's, we got to, we got to find a good one. Very highly processed bacon. Two scrambled eggs. And actually you want to use, you can use butter to scramble your eggs. You get nonstick pans, but you can use butter. And then they're always drinking water. The more water you drink, the better. We're not going to go through a lecture in butter. I mean, with water. I've actually been in the water business for 25 years. Teaching people how to clean their water. We won't talk about that now. Lunch, they just had baked chicken breast. That's pretty easy. Then they had sliced tomatoes with olive oil and provolone cheese. Nice. That's nice. That is really nice. That is something a white woman would have. Most of my clients over the years were white women. 90% were white women. 
And then for dinner, they had baked flounder. You could put and use butter with that, olive oil, and your seasonings. Actually, I like to put Parmesan cheese on my flounder and bake it. That's nice. Real nice. And then you have asparagus. Eight steamed asparagus links. Love asparagus. Little steamed asparagus. Actually, I just drop them in some hot water for about 30 seconds. Kind of make them, I don't like them soggy and fantastic. So those are two days. Two more days that we have of sample menus. So you're going to get a lot of sample menus. I give you a ton, tons of sample, tons and tons of sample menus. All right. So that's basically the program. That is basically the program. Everybody, you, you basically have a foundation on how to do this. Mostly vegetables, animal products, and planning. That's the key to this whole thing. So again, you have three options. You can, you have the program, you can do it by yourself. I'm giving it to you. You know what to do. I'm trying to help. You want to download it. It's not much. There's no reading, really. It's no reading. It's not a book. A little bit of reading, kind of explaining how to do it like I'm telling you now. The main thing is you have it on your phone and you can always refer back to it. All right. The third way is working directly with me. So basically working with me, it works like this. So you're going to get a 30 minute consultation with me over the phone. So basically when, pe when people want to work with me, they want to go beyond losing 20 pounds. So these are people, mostly people, the majority of people have got to lose 40, 50 pounds. And when I'm dealing with you, we're going to have to, I'm, I need to find out what's going on in your family, your family life, who's cooking, who is cooking, what's going on, how many kids you have, what's in the cabinets. And we're going to do some virtual, virtual looks into the refrigerator. So we're going to take your phone. And we're going to do a virtual tour of your house. This is not a negative thing. We just want to see what's going on. So you can increase your chances of getting this weight off. I was in a lady's house during the pandemic. And she had her mother there and her father there. And her sister was there and her kids were there. And it was a disaster what was going on. There was so much junk in there and it is going to be very tough for her. So we have to stay in touch as much as possible with each other. She didn't cook a lot. Her mother cooked a lot, but the good thing is her mother also wants to lose weight. So they're going to do it together. However, there was a lot of junk food in there for these kids. And I asked her, how old were the kids? And the kids were 10, 8. They, I don't, they were bringing a lot of junk in the house. So when we went into the cabinets, we talked about she had hamburger helper in there and a lot of processed foods. So that's just an example of what I want, what I need to see and to help you. Your work environment. Now, a lot of people are at home, but people, some people are going to work and I need to know what's going on with your job. What's available? What restaurants are available? Can you take your lunch to work, etc.? How much uh, do, weight do you need to lose? Your level of motivation will scale from one to 10. What is your motive? What is your motivation? If it's like a four or five, maybe we shouldn't work together. If it's a nine or 10, now we're talking. 
What is your health? Were you recently, do you, are you have diabetes? What kind of medications you're on? I talked to you about diabetes. So basically you're going to become a partner with me. And more importantly, two things, three things we want to do, four things. You want to build momentum, building momentum. So if you stop, you want to build momentum. You want to build some confidence. And we're going to thoroughly go over the program again, a little more detail than what you're getting now. And you want to have an ability to ask questions. Questions is important. So you can always text me or ask questions. The conspiracy of silence. You need to talk. You need to talk about this. People need to talk. We're not talking. Black women are not talking. You go over people's houses. Everybody's overweight. Your aunts, your uncle, aunts, grandma, sisters, brothers, Children, you're overweight. You got to talk. I'm here to talk. You got got you got to talk. And lastly, we got to learn how to eat in restaurants. We want to deal with lots of recipes and sample menus that we were doing. We got to teach you how to do a one day colon cleanse. Lose a lot of weight on that one day. You want to deal with plants that suppress the appetite, herbs, and provide you with the proper nutrients that you need. Not vitamins and not vitamins, but there are plants out there that you can take that will give you all the minerals that you need to keep you healthy. I got to make sure you're healthier too. Because you're not eating a lot of fruits, which has vitamin C in it. So I got to make sure you have some, some things that's going to help you out. Some other foods. Partnership is great. Finding a partner. Having a partner is fantastic. So you can talk to someone. I know I'm easy to talk to, but someone who's going through this together. That's important. Your peers. Again, you've got us. We've got to start talking about this. Stop running. And then you've got to watch these videos. You've got to stay on top. I'm going to be teaching you a lot about drama. On the other videos, I'm telling you, I go through a whole series. It's a whole series of, of how to avoid this drama with the food companies. So go back and watch these videos. Put your chest out. Look you in the mirror and do this. Because sometimes it's not what you're eating. It is what you're eating. But sometimes it's also what's eating you. What's going on in your life. Food is easily you can go to food to make you feel good. And the food companies know this. They don't like you. That's a hard pill to swallow. They haven't liked us in this country for 400 years. Why are they going to start liking you now? You saw the videos when the women in the 30s, 40s, 50s weren't even overweight. Now, 85% of us are overweight. So you go to lose 20 pounds in 30 days.com lose 20 pounds in 30 days.com. And at the top, it says free 30 minute consultation. Just, just fill out the information and I'll call you. It's easy, easy. So I hope everybody learned something because I really want you to take care of yourself and your family. Because if you have kids, your kids are going to be overweight too. It's a good, big chance your kids going to be overweight too. And you don't, you don't want that. A lot of times it's a lot about our, our kids, our future. So that is it. You have this.
And now just wait for me to keep uploading more videos. It's been a while since I've been posting, but the spirit came over me and says, I got to do this. Okay. So everyone continue to enjoy your blessings. I'm out.